Welcome back everyone. So in the last video we looked at sketching a car design for um, a cadet car and we've got this piece of paper in front of us. What I want to do today is take this sketch and start to set up on shape ready to build this car. Now what I've done, uh, I've just got my, my pen and I've put across roughly where I think the center line for the wheels is going to be, or the axles. And roughly on, um, I got my ruler out and I measured, and just for my reference, this back wheel is going to be about 40 millimeters from the rear of the canister to the center of the wheel. And to the center of this wheel is going to be uh, 160 millimeters. Uh, so, and again, you'll understand why in a minute. The other thing, the, the height of the axle holes from the bottom of the block is going to be 10 millimeters. My en entire car length is going to be 190, and I'm just keeping this nice round figures. This, this can be anything, so long as it's within the regulations, I recommend aiming for that 190 to 200 millimeter length. I wouldn't go any bigger. Um, couple of the, well, the canister housings where it is. Everything else I think we can work out once we've got these dimensions set up. So let's jump into Onshape. Uh, so I've got my Onshape in front of me and I'm gonna create a new document. Uh, call this Cadet Car. And wait for Onshape to create the document for us. Okay, so here we are in our workspace and we've got our um, work planes in front of us, top, front and right. And in the simple car we started on the front plane, for this car I want to start on my right hand, right hand or my right plane. So I'm going to start a sketch, click on the right plane and then I'm just going to rotate around so we're facing the right plane. What I want to do, I want to create what's called some construction lines. So these are lines that, um, well, you can see here on the screen, they're ignored when the sketch region is used for features. They're there just as a reference point. So I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to start at my origin and um, just click there for starters. I want to make this, uh, we'll go 190 long. So that's going to be the length of my car and I'm going to go 50 millimeters high. So that's the size of the block itself. Okay, uh, next line. We need to put in a um, where the canister is going to go. So I'm going to go center point circle. I'm going to click on the back line of the car. Click, draw a circle, and it's going to be 19 millimeters diameter. That's the diameter of the canister hole. I'm going to dimension that, so you can either click the dimension tool or press the D key. And from the center of that circle to the origin is going to be 29, and that's the, the height it's set. Uh, okay, next let's actually draw a rectangle, and I'm going to hover over the intersection of the circle and the back of that uh, rectangle we drew. and Come down to the intersection there. I'm just going to click. It's going to be 52 millimeters long, depth of the canister hole, and 19 millimeter high. Again, that's the height of the canister hole. Now, interesting enough, that did not um, come up as a, as a construction line. So I'm just going to highlight all that, and then click on the construction, convert it to a construction line. Uh, what's next? We need to, I'm going to put two more circles in uh, where the wheels are going to go. So the wheels are 33 millimeters diameter. I'm just going to put one there. Let's just chuck one up here for now. Okay, so I've got that. And again, we're going to dimension this. Now we decided from the center of the wheel to the back corner of the block, was going to be 40 millimeters from the center of this wheel 
to the back of the block is going to be 160. That's a little bit tight, that one. Um, we might change that in a minute. Yeah, let's change that. Let's go, let's make that 150. And this is a, the beauty. We're, we're sort of tweaking things as we go. Uh, last one, oh, we had the height from the center of the wheel to the block here was going to be 10. Then we need to do the same from the back of the block. I want to go, here we go, and make that 10 as well. So this is just keeping everything locked in place, and it's going to become very important in a minute. Uh, Ah, last thing, we need to put a tether line slot in. So let's just draw a line from the front of the block, horizontal. Oop, haven't got construction, so hit escape. Construction, line, front of the block, horizontal to the back. Uh, we want 190, yes. Hit escape. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And we're going to go dimension from there to there. Is going to be six millimeters. Now, again, don't worry about all those. Yeah, I know all these red lines. Um, it's it's having an interest or you know, hissy fit, but we can ignore them for now. So I've got all these dimensions set. Actually, I'm going to delete that dimension because we don't need it. Let's sketch in it. There we go. There we got all the red lines away. Um, now I'm going to leave that sketch as is. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to rename this dimension sketch. And I'm actually not going to use it for any of my um, extrusions. In fact, to start drawing the body, I'm going to start a new extrusion. So I'm going to sketch on the right plane again. Except this time, I'm going to create real lines. So, first thing I want to do is um, I want to do a three-point arc. So I'm going to start at the intersection there, start at, finish at the back of the where the tether line slot is, and I can change. If you look here, as I lift my mouse up and down, I can change the arc of that curve. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to ballpark this. I reckon that looks about right. I might be able to change this a bit later. Uh, next, I want to close this in. So I'm going to come from here down to the bottom corner. From there, oop, well, come from the back to the front and then close that up there. So now we've got a closed region, and I can do an extrusion of that. So I'm going to finish my sketch, come back around to my isometric view, um, extrude that, come out, and I want this to be, now I want it to be the same as the canister hole, so 19 millimeters plus 6 is 25, because I need 3 millimeters. Let's round it up, let's go... Uh, We'll make that 27. So let's go, let's just go 14 millimeters. I think that's a nice round figure. And hit OK. So there's the body of my car done. Pretty, so far, pretty simple. So if we go back to um, our sketch, because I've got my sketch here, there's the body of the car. Uh, so that's this section here. It's about the same width as what the canister housing needs to be. Maybe a smidgen wider, but that's fine. Uh, so next, we've got the body done. I'm going to work on my canister hole. All right, so let's jump back to one shape. Um, okay, how am I going to do this? I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to jump on my right plane again. And same as the simple car. I'm going to create a uh, revolved extrusion. So clicking on the center of my canister, I want to come up. Now, we need to think a little bit about this. I need three millimeters of material around my canister. So if that's 52 deep, 
then we need the canister housing at least 55. And here, I want the diameter of my canister housing to match the width of my body. So the width of the body was 14. So I'll make the canister housing 14. It's a little bit chunky, but... Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. That looks fine. Okay, let's close it. Go back to our 3D view. Revolved extrusion. Select our shape. Select our axis, And again, we only want to do one direction, 180 degrees. Same side as our body. And finished. Okay, so at the moment we have our dimension sketch set up. We have the body of the car set up. We have our canister housing set up. Uh, quickly over here, we're going to rename these. So, call this one car body. And we'll call this one, oops, I'm going to select just that. Rename this um, canister housing. Sorry, try to type one handed. Okay, and I think we'll leave it there. Um, next video, we'll jump in and we'll keep developing more with the car body. See you soon.